This is CNN Breaking News. 4 a.m. on the U.S. East Coast, and we're following the breaking news this hour out of Sri Lanka. At least 137 people have been killed in six explosions, according to officials there. More than 500 people have been wounded. I'm George Howell at the CNN Center in Atlanta. Welcome to viewers here in the United States and around the world. The story we're following, state media in Sri Lanka report three explosions were at hotels, three other explosions were at churches. And keep this in mind, the background important. All of this seems to be a coordinated set of attacks on a day where Christians are celebrating Easter Sunday. CNN's Nikhil Kumar is following this story for us this hour live in New Delhi. And Nikhil, what more are you learning uh, given the aftermath of these bombings. Well, George, the information is still coming through, but the information, as you said, that we have points to a devastating series of what looks like a series of coordinated attacks. Six bombings, as you say, three of them at churches on this very important day for Christians around the world and in Sri Lanka. We know that hundreds have been injured, at least 137 killed, among them at least nine foreigners. Now, this is a country that in the past has seen a lot of violence. Remember, there was a decades-long civil war that unfolded over here. For many people today, this will be a reminder of that. But in this case, I cannot stress enough, in this case, we don't yet know all the details about who may be behind this. The government hasn't yet pointed the finger at anyone, and we don't know of any claim of responsibility so far. But all the details that we do have points to a devastating set of attacks uh, that for this country is a tragic, tragic reminder of a past that it thought that it, it had left behind. The last few years have been relatively peaceful, and now it looks like we've had a targeted set of attacks uh, on at least this minority today. George. Nikhil, uh, stand by with us if we could. I'll ask a director if we can take the video full. I want our viewers to get a sense of exactly what's happening here. These uh, sites that have been attacked. Again, we're talking about hotels that have been attacked. These hotels with foreigners there. We're talking about churches where people, uh, of course, were there uh, for Easter Sunday. These are soft targets, Nikhil. And again, this video that you see here shows the, the chaos. Uh, that that is that has ensued afterward. Uh, certainly, rescue ep efforts are underway, Nikhil. That's absolutely right, George. Uh, soft targets, I think, is correct. You know, today, as you said, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, these churches, uh, from what we understand, were full. We're still trying to get a full picture of the number of people in there. And that's why the emphasis right now is very much on the rescue efforts, both at the churches, the three churches uh, that we know about, and the hotels. Uh, this is a popular tourist destination as well, Sri Lanka. So, so the efforts right now are focused on making sure that those who've been injured, hundreds we already know about, those who've been injured, that they are brought uh, to uh, hospitals uh, around the country as quickly as possible and of course alongside that investigating what happened how it happened and who may be behind this uh, the authorities there held an emergency meeting earlier today uh, headed by the Prime Minister uh, we know from state media that the all the police leave has been cancelled so the, uh, the entire country really coming together uh, to as I say make sure that those have been hurt uh, are brought medical attention and also to get to the bottom of this. How did this happen? Who did this? Um, and, and get a fuller picture of what's unfolded on this very holy day, very important day for so many Christians around the world and, of course, in that country as well. Nikhil George? Kumar has been following this story for the last several, several hours. Nikhil, stand by, of course. Uh, you need to take a moment to touch base with your sources. We're going to come right back to you in a moment. But what I'd like to do right now is bring on with us by phone Father Edmund Tiller Karadna. Uh, again, social communications director for the Archdiocese of Colombo there and uh, Father Edmund again you were at one of these sites that was uh, hit uh, that was bombed tell us about what happened please we should have on the line Father uh, Edmund Tiller Karadna if we have him uh, Father Karadna if you're able to speak to us can, can you Okay, we don't have him now. We'll try to reconnect with him in a moment. Let's bring back in our correspondent, Nikhil Kumar. Nikhil, are you still with us? I'm right here, George, yes. Of course, Nikhil. So uh, let's get a sense, of course, you, you laid out some of the background here. You also pointed out that at, at, this, at this point, we don't have any indication of who might have been behind this. But again, give our viewers a sense of the history uh, there in Sri Lanka, because again, uh, that is a, a place that has not seen this type of violence in some time. That's right, George. Uh, the civil war there 
uh, ended in 2009. And since then, we've seen a few years of relative peace, certainly compared to what happened uh, in past decades, during the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. Uh, and there was a massive military offensive that brought that civil war to an end. Uh, and since then, people have been, you know, people have been celebrating and been really grateful that it's been peaceful. It's been peaceful around Sri Lanka. You can travel around. You can go to the north, which was a focus of the civil war uh, back, back in those decades. Uh, and so as this sense of normalcy people have become used to, now we've had this crushing series of attacks, which will, as I say, bring back some very tragic memories for the country. But again, I should stress, the reasons for that war were, of course, very, very specific, and we don't know what's happened here. We don't know who's behind this. We don't know what the motivations were. We don't know, uh, you know, what happened really. And the authorities are still trying to get to the bottom of that. So as we wait for that, it's certainly true that this country that is only just recently, in the last few years, been enjoying a period of peace, that it's been plunged back into the most devastating of tragedies all over again. George? Nikhil Kumar again following this for us live in New Delhi. Nikhil, thank you for the reporting. Of course, you're, you're staying in touch with your sources there. If we're able to bring back in at some point uh, Father Edmund Tiller Karadna, we will do so. But again, uh, 138 people killed uh, in these blasts there. More than 500 people, more than 560 people, in fact, injured. Uh, this is a breaking news story we'll continue to follow for you over the next several hours here on CNN. We continue following the breaking news out of Sri Lanka. Hospital sources now say at least 138 people have been killed in at least six different explosions. Take a look at the video that we've uh, brought in here at CNN and you get a sense of exactly what happened there. Again, we're talking about six different locations, some of them uh, hotels, some of them churches. The Sri Lankan president has expressed his shock and dismay over these explosions on Sunday. He instructed law enforcement and defense to take every possible step to maintain law and order. Again, keeping in mind they were targeted. Uh, you have people who were in churches this Easter Sunday who were targeted. All of this, a coordinated set of attacks during a short amount of time. We'll continue to follow this and bring you the latest as we learn more. We are getting some reaction now from the British Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt. He said that he is, quote, shocked and saddened by the horrific attacks on hotels and churches in Sri Lanka, adding to target those gathered for worship on Easter Sunday is particularly wicked. My prayers are with the victims and their families and with those assisting in the response. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted this, strongly condemned the horrific blasts in Sri Lanka. There is no place for such barbarism in our region. India stands in solidarity with the people of Sri Lanka. My thoughts are with the bere uh, bereaved families and prayers with the injured.